welcome welcome and welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by if you're a, a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back in today's video we'll be making cumin rice i know so many people know how to make rice but there are very many uh, varieties of making rice so i'll be showing you uh, my own version of cumin rice it's so simple so just stick to the end and uh, recreate this dish don't forget to like share comment down below on any recipe that you want us to be making and we'll faithfully deliver thank you so much and let's jump into the video so in our um, empty pot i'm going to be adding my cumin you add as much as you want I'm going to just like toast them uh, without any oil and then I'll go ahead and add my oil. So the method that I usually uh, use in adding oil, I'm going to toast them until they start smelling. So cumin do have like um, a smelling sensation to them, like a, you can actually like smell them. So I'm going to like kind of toast them on high heat without any oil. And I can smell them right now, so I'm just going to add one teaspoon of oil. I don't want them to burn. That's second, yeah, just two tablespoons, two teaspoons of oil. I am going to let them cook for for a while before I add my rice and water. You should be really careful because cumin don't really take so long to cook. And if they and they're so easily, um, they burn so easily. So at this point, I'm going to add my rice directly. Then I'm going to add um, water immediately. So I made I, I used one cup of, uh, of of rice, and I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. The reason why I'm adding one and a half cups of water is because I, I washed my my rice, and um, it soaked for about um, 15 minutes, not more than 15 minutes, and that's the reason I'm adding one and a half. And I'm going ahead to add salt, that much salt. And I'll let it cook. And then, yeah, that's how you make cumin rice. So instead of uh, eating normal rice, just try cumin rice and you will actually love it. So after cooking, this is how our rice looks like. The water is completely dry. I reduced my heat from medium to extremely low because now I want it to completely dry. So there are so many ways of making rice. And I use them differently. It depends on the occasion. And so today, I usually uh, tend to use uh, aluminum foil, but I ran out of aluminum foil. So I'm going to be using a kitchen cloth. So the only thing you do is take a clean kitchen cloth, run it through water. It should, mo it should not be extremely wet and it should not be dry. So you take the cloth, you put it on top of the pot, you cover it and just throw up the excess so that they don't really catch fire. And you let it for about 10, 5 to 10 minutes and your rice will be completely cooked and dried up. Thank you for your love and support. May God bless us and may God bless you too. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram pages, Moya's Kitchen and Moya. We'll be putting the links and our username on the screen. And thank you so much, guys. Bye. So after, I'll say, 10 good minutes 10 or more minutes i'm going to um remove it to uncover it Ooh. and this is how our rice looks like let me bring it closer as you can see it's completely dry it 
it's way much better than uh, normal rice but you can try it and then choose your own um favorite dish so please don't forget to like share and subscribe comment down below to follow and also follow us on our social media platforms so in the meantime god bless you as god blesses us too and uh, thank you so much for your love and support bye